Hey you guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video and let's go ahead and address the elephants in the room and that is my beanie and that is because I am so cold. I wish you guys could feel my hands. They are freezing. Anyways, uh, staying on trend with the new year approaching and my journaling, I wanted to bring to your attention the three different types of journaling that there are in case you want to take up journaling this coming up year. I thought I would touch on the three that I'm very familiar with in case you're interested in journaling this coming year. So let's jump into the first one, which is intentional journaling. Intentional journaling is basically just a daily log that you do on your journal. Basically, you can use this journal to set your goals. You can use a journal to just write, you know, a specific problem that is bothering you. You basically just write it down and, um, you know, you have a log of that problem that you were going through at that time. It's almost like a diary. Um, you also can use it to write your gratitude in there. So basically intentional journaling is just a way to journal in a very intentional way. You set your goals, you set your gratitude, you know a problem that you're having and you write it down. So it's very intentional. The second type of journaling is intuitive journaling. And that is when you basically disconnect from the mind and you align more with your soul. You free handed, you, you're writing and writing and writing and before you know it, you've got like five pages written, but you haven't re written anything intentional. You're writing from your soul, what you're feeling, and you're just using it for that purpose. You're not using it to set your goals or to write a gratitude or to plan things out. You're basically just using your soul to write things out that perhaps you have on your mind, perhaps that are hurting you, that are stressing you out, and or that you're happy about, but you're not really doing it at the start with any intention. You're basically, the goal of intuitive journaling is to disconnect from the mind, to just be more creative more freehand than, you know, this is what I want to journal tonight. So the third type of journaling is that I used to call it scrapbooking, but I guess now we're calling it art journaling. And that is probably one of my favorite things. As you guys know, I have my book companion journal. And one of my favorite parts of the journal is the part when you're actually in there and cutting out pictures and making it a scrapbook and you can write things next to your pictures, documenting your journey. So art journaling is doing the same thing that you're doing with the intentional journaling and the intuitive journal. You can use art journaling for both. So. For example, if you're doing art journaling with an intentional mind, you might go ahead and create a journal with almost that looks like a vision board. So you're gonna cut out pictures of things that you want and maybe you can write little sayings by it and you can use stickers. You're very intentional with your art journaling or you can do it intuitive journaling with your art journaling. That basically means you have, when you sit down, you don't really have a particular direction or a goal in mind, you just need to scrapbook. And I did that the other day. Um, I brought out all my scrapbook stuff and I sat down and I had some pictures from a long time ago and I cut them all out and I did the spread and I felt so much better afterwards. I had a feeling that I had and I went with it. I wasn't, um, I wasn't, there wasn't a goal at the end of it. I just needed to get all my feelings that I had out onto this journal, but instead of writing it, because sometimes writing out my feelings is not the easiest thing for me, but 
creating this art journal in in art form with pictures and and maybe I wrote a quote here and there or maybe I wrote a saying here and there that's a lot easier sometimes for me than writing pages of how I'm feeling so these types of journaling are the kinds that I'm going to be taking on to the new year because at any given time I feel like doing one of the three sometimes I do the intuitive sometimes I do the intentional and most of the time right now I'm finding that I'm enjoying the art journaling the most. This video's question is, out of the three, which one is your favorite type of journaling? Remember to be entered into Vlogmas's giveaway, which is video two. If you have not watched it, go back to see what's all included in the giveaway. You have to like and comment on every Vlogmas video I upload from the first through the 25th and I will select a random winner on the 25th. You must also be subscribed to the channel so if you're not subscribed yet make sure you do so. All right you guys I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you again in a brand new video tomorrow. Until then stay safe.